first off, I'd like to say that I'm honored that y'all asked me to actually do this, and y'all both look great. Whenever I first started trying to think of what to actually say, I started listening and reading a lot of uh, other weddings and wedding speeches. And what they said, a lot of the times they were talking about how weddings or marriage is work. And I disagree. Whenever in life, a lot of the times, you'll get knocked down. Things will happen. But together, you can actually help each other up and get through it and keep moving forward. In the Marines, we used to say Semper Fi and Semper Fora, which means always faithful, always forward. <clears throat> just always remember to stay faithful to yourselves and to each other and just keep moving forward. There's nothing worth actually going back for or you would actually still be here. Mm. Always remember to put a your best foot forward. It's not about the hours that y'all put in. It's what y'all do with the hours that y'all do put in. I know what I've written seems more like a motivational speech. <laughs> and the reason is that it seems like most people don't actually know what was said at their wedding. So, in closing of what I actually wanted, wanted y'all to remember, is what y'all actually say to each other in your vows. I think that's the most important part of what I'm saying. So at this point, Logan, I'd like for Emma to come up here, and Logan's gonna do a vow to Emma. Got my phone. Look for Emma. <laughs> When I first met you, I couldn't help but like you. I thought you were the cutest little girl I'd ever seen. It wasn't long before I loved you. You're so much like your mommy, I couldn't help but love you. And now I can't imagine the world without my adorable daughter. Mm, I want to make you some promises. I promise to sing to you often. I promise to help you write songs. I promise to put lotion on all your bobos and make them feel better. <laughs> I promise to hug and kiss you every night before bed. I promise to hold you when you're scared, but most of all, I promise to always love you, even when you're mad at me. I thought you were the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And uh, and you thought that Jason and I were a gay couple. <laughs> the whole night I couldn't keep my eyes off you. I, like I can't keep my eyes off you now. Um, I'll never think of a high five the same way again. Um, when we spent all night in Galveston, I completely fell in love with you. I couldn't even bring myself to kiss you, and now I'm standing here about to marry you. I love you so much I can't even promise, can't make enough promises. I could promise you the moon, but um, I'll start with a few easier ones. <laughs> um, I promise to people watch with you wherever we go, that we can be entertained by um, making up elaborate stories about strangers. <laughs> I promise to rub your feet when you've had a hard day, despite the fact I hate feet more than about anything. I promise to make you an egg white mask every time you damage your hair. I promise I'll always be faithful. I promise to love you forever. I'm very honored that you chose me to grow old and gray with you. <laughs> Old school. 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 Old school
first night I hung out with you in Galveston, a friend of mine jokingly texted me and asked me if I was in love with you yet. In all seriousness, I told her yes. The connection and friendship I have with you is one of the realest things I've ever felt. You are an amazing father to our daughter, and I know when she gets to be the age that we are now, she's going to appreciate everything that you do for us. I'm going to do everything that I can to show you how important you are to me. I know I'm not a perfect person, but I promise to do my best to love you perfectly. You're the most amazing man I could ever dream of being with. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> do you have the rings? <laughs> Come on. Kimmy Nicole Wolf, do you take Logan Ross Plankenhorn to be your husband? I do. <laughs> Logan Ross Plankenhorn, mm -hmm. do you take Kimmy Nicole Wolf to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <laughs> 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 By the power vested in me by the state of Texas and the Universal Church of Life, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may high five your bride. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>